today we're going to take a look at this clever little device, the SwitchBot Hub Mini. So this is a product that very elegantly solves the problem of how to control your infrared remote devices from your phone and digital assistants. So let's use a Dyson fan as an example. Now some Dyson fans come with network connectivity which lets you control them with Siri shortcuts or Alexa via the Dyson Link app. But they do have some other great machines that unfortunately don't have Wi-Fi which means you're stuck using the remote to control them. The remotes for those machines use infrared so I thought what if you could get some kind of network enabled hub to send infrared signals to control the fan. And I actually explored this idea before and made a DIY solution using a Raspberry Pi and Broadlink Mini. Now that was pretty geeky and required programming but the advantage was that it did give you proper HomeKit compatibility. Twitchbot have a product in their collection of home automation devices that also does exactly this, albeit with Siri shortcuts rather than full HomeKit support. The huge advantage, of course, is it is super easy to set up with no programming needed. Now, they sent me this for free, but this video is just my honest thoughts on the device. So this product is actually a bit of a two-in-one. It's firstly the hub that is required to control the SwitchBot products over Bluetooth and it's needed to add remote access, automation and assistant integration for their range of devices. And secondly, it can be used to make non-network enabled devices with infrared control a bit smarter by serving as a smart remote. So the Hub Mini is quite multi-talented. I won't go over the details of how the Hub Mini works with the other SwitchBot products here as I cover that in the other video where I look at the bot in particular. So the SwitchBot app lets you create virtual remotes for your infrared appliances and then add any button event to Siri, Google or Alexa. So setting up a new infrared device is actually as simple as first adding the Hub Mini to the SwitchBot app and then you can add new IR appliances. You get a nice list of options which shapes the kind of remote you get and there are loads of templates available that are set up with the right frequencies already. As I've discovered with the other SwitchBot products, their attention to detail is notable and the app has a lot of power and the user experience is pretty polished considering how broad its scope actually is. If you can't find your remote in the directory, you can learn any of your remote's commands and save them using an existing templates button or just go ahead and make a new remote from fresh and add buttons as needed. And actually this process is so simple it's almost just as easy to do this rather than try and find a match in the library. Maybe this is a call you'd make depending on how big the remote is that you want to add. One thing that I do think is a little bit odd though is the app says that custom buttons or remotes from the others category don't work with the assistant integrations, but in my testing they actually work just fine. Anyway, Hub Mini from SwitchBot, a very affordable product that has real value as a standalone product to get your IR appliances controllable via your phone and assistant platforms, but also is the key to network connectivity for the other SwitchBot products. Do let me know below if you have any questions and if you've used SwitchBot gear, please share your experiences below for everybody else too. Also, please consider subscribing for more content on design, usability and workflow. Thanks for watching and I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day.